Hi everyone. Today we're going to be making the Barn Star Double North Star block, which is paper pieced. So some of you have asked, how do you do paper piecing? And I'll show you a little bit about how to do it. There are several ways to accomplish this, but um, I'll show you the way that is written on the pattern and also a couple of different tricks. Now what you're going to need is a glue stick, some flat head pans come in handy. You don't have to use flat head pans, but they're, they're useful to reduce the bulk. You're going to need the fabrics for the block, which this one has orange, royal blue, light pink, dark pink, and light blue. So these are your fabrics for this block. On the template that says 3A, change this to 3B hot pink. And on the template that says 3B hot pink, change it to 3A pink. And then your templates will work out just right. Here's the A side of the block, and here's the B side of the block. And they were transposed. So um, do them this way. 3A is pink. Well, you'll change it to 3A. It says 3B, change it to 3A, and it's pink. And then change this one to change 3A to 3B, and it's hot pink. Now here's something that I've done before, and it works great for me because um, this paper is not printed on both sides, and we're going to be sewing from the top, but we need to put our fabric on the back. So for me, it's very simple to just put all your papers down when you, when you cut them out and just cut on the line until you have a stack and they should all be the same. So then I've got a stack of four, four pieces of patterns right here and they're all right together. So keeping the edges together, take this to your sewing machine and take your thread out of the top needle if it will sew without thread in it. And then I'll show you, I just sew along the lines using just not a tiny stitch, but just a regular stitch. And then um, it will put holes in it, just like it has done on this one. Don't know if you can see. And then you can just pull these apart. You can hear it. And then all of these have holes on the back side. So then you'll take your pen or your marker and you'll write the number on them. So this, this one is number one. And then number 2A and number 3A. And you'll do that with each one of these. And then you know, oops, can't write, 2A and 3A. And then you'll know um, where to put your fabric. It just helps me. There are other ways to paper piece, but this is one way that works well for me, and so you might want to give it a try. One, two, A, and three, A, and just keep going. And I'll just so show you how I've sewn these. Keep your papers together as tight as you can. And then pretty soon they'll stick together. Whoops. And then just put your needle right down and sew away right on the line. If it goes over just a, just a little bit, that's okay. Just something to be aware of when you're cutting these out there's only one the orange that says to cut four pairs which would mean that you would have wrong sides together or right sides together the rest of them just say cut four that means that every piece needs to be right side up when you cut it or else they'll be facing the wrong direction and you'll be wasting fabric so 
once again, I'm going to cut my pink with just extra, about a half an inch on each side. And all of them are facing the same direction. Here are the two sides of our block. We're going to be making four blocks. So I'm going to start with the A's. So number one is orange. Number two A is dark blue. So that will go right here. And number 3A is light pink, so it will go here. So these are the three colors I'm going to work with first. You'll have two sets of the orange because we cut them in pairs. So divide them up and set your second half up with your B fabrics. So now we'll start with our A fabrics. And we're going to start with number one. We'll, what we're going to do is turn over our fabric and then actually we're going to switch this and then we're going to lay this about a quarter of an inch over the line that you've stitched right here and then we'll line up number B you want to make sure it's going to cover right here and it will so flip it over and line it up right here. And this is the first sewing that we're going to do because we're going to sew from the other side. So we'll turn it over and we're going to stitch right down this line between one and two A. Take out your pins and then you're going to fold back your paper, take your ruler and put your quarter inch line right at the edge of the paper and then trim off any excess fabric that you have, which isn't much. Then you'll fold it back and press. And you want to make sure that your fabric is covering all the paper. And we'll go ahead and do that. And then do the third part. Now we're ready for the third piece. So flip your block over. You want to make sure, oops, actually, that's the side we were on. So if you want to flip this edge over to, so that the print side is up, take your ruler with your quarter inch edge and just trim, trim that down to a quarter of an inch. Now flip it, flip your piece back over. Lay your bottom piece, which is 3A, across the paper to make sure that they're the right size. And then fold back and match right up to the bottom of the fabric that you've sewn. Pin it in place through the paper. And then take it to the machine and sew right along the perforated lines on 3A. Now flip your piece over and right along the line, let's see, around the quarter inch line, go ahead and trim up your block or your piece. is what your A piece should look like. I'll go ahead and make three more and then we'll go on with our B block. Now, we're ready to start on our B blocks. So we have orange for number one, light blue for number 2B, and dark pink for number 3B. So we've our, I've already gone ahead and marked the backs and we're going to start with number one and lay it right here, number 2B, we'll lay right on top of it. Make sure that you have enough hanging over all the perforated lines so that we don't have to go back and unpick. Okay, and then I'll 
pin this in place and then we'll turn it over and trim it up. Okay, it's important that you do this when you're doing your paper piecing. Make sure that your template pieces are, are cut in the correct direction. And now they are. So I will fold this back and I will, at the beginning of the video, I'll make sure that you're aware of this, that 3B and 2B are cut with the template laying down. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and sew these two, these last pieces on, and then we will make the quilt block. Okay, we are ready to put this puppy together. Okay, we've got our right sides and our left sides, and we'll tackle that problem in a minute. Okay, so each block... It's an orange side and a blue side. And I don't have my papers, but this is how they should go. So you're going to sew together these two sides, just like this. Now, I would come right down here to the tip and just kind of tear that paper away, just because we don't want a bunch of bulk right in the middle of our block. So go ahead and just remove those. And while you're at it, go ahead and remove these little seam lines too, if you can. You can, you can go ahead and remove all the papers if you'd like, but there's no need to do that just yet. Okay, and then sew each block together with part A and part B right along the diagonal line. Then we'll sew all four blocks together. After you sew your two pieces of your block together, remove the paper right along the seam lines because it will reduce the bulk. But it's better to leave them on when you're sewing these, these side seams together because there is a lot of bias in these blocks. Just go ahead and remove these from the seam lines. You can remove the rest of the paper anytime, but let's just get some of this bulk out of the way. Now we're going to be sewing two of these together, just like this. So go ahead. I went ahead and removed everything off of this one, but you don't have to. Press this seam open if you can. If you can't, not a big deal and then sew your blocks together. So you can go ahead and press it any way you like, either in opposite directions or by pressing the seam open. I've sewn this side, and I've sewn this side, and I've torn the papers away from this side, but not this one. So what we need to do is sew these two together. Isn't it going to be pretty? Okay, so flip this one block on top of the other and line up all your seam allowances. Take a pin and put it right in the intersection of where all your blocks, your pieces come together and then right into the other side. Now take two more pins and pin down both sides so that that point will be perfect. And take this one out. Now take it over to your machine, sew your quarter inch seam allowance all the way across. Be 
do it on either side and then we'll pull away all these papers and you'll be okay, done. Let's open it and see what we got. Oh, that looks good. I'm impressed. Okay, now what we're going to do is just pull off these papers and get as much off as you can. It's not going to be the end of the world if you don't get them all. <clears throat> it's kind of the fun part because you got to this point and you know it's a perfect block because it's paper pieced. And you'll get really fast at this as you, as you make several or if you don't want to just do this block. Just practice, make lots of blocks. Make a pineapple block, they're the best and they're fun. They can be a little monotonous, but you really learn how to paper piece when you do it over and over again. And it's fun. If you need to get some little tweezers and just pull away all these little pieces and then press your block when you're all done and it's perfect. That's the nice thing about paper piecing is that your blocks come out perfect, your points come out perfect every time. It looks like you're such an excellent quilter. And, and you are. If you're willing to learn all of this stuff, you're an excellent quilter. Okay. I'm going to press that open and we're going to oogle it for a minute. Look at this beautiful block you've just made. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Look at my star center. That's amazing. And all these points. You can paper piece. It's the funnest thing ever. So just get out there and give it a try. It's going to be really great. And I can't wait to see what you make. Share it with us on our Facebook group, Creative Notions Group. And I'll see you next time. Bye.